everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video is washcloth number three for our year-long crochet along, where we're doing one washcloth a month. This one is called the Striped Shells Washcloth. Super easy. I think you're really going to like this one. And it's super fun because depending on what yarns you use, you get a different look. This one we used five different colors of yarn and you get a pastel rainbow. Or this one we used a white and a variegated and it looks completely different. And that's what's fun about this pattern. And like I said, I think you're really going to love this. Now, you can find this crochet pattern on my blog. And as always, I'll put that link down in the notes underneath this video. You can also find a link underneath this video for the playlist where you'll find all the videos for the washcloth of the month. And you'll also find a link for where all of the washcloths are listed. And so those will all be underneath this video in the notes section for you. To make a washcloth, you're going to need some cotton yarn. This one is made from Premier Cotton. This one is Peaches and Cream Cotton. And for today's demonstration, I'm going to be using I Love This Cotton in sage and white so that you can see the striping effect. But of course, you can use one color or six colors, whatever you want to do and whatever pattern that you want to make for your stripes or make it all one color and don't do any stripes. You're going to need a total of about three to three and a half ounces to make a washcloth and that's a little bit estimating just a little bit high but I don't know about you I always want to make sure I have enough yarn. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook and of course you'll need a needle to weave those ends in especially if you've changed colors a lot. The washcloth measures about 10 by 10 inches. If you want to adjust that, the pattern or the multiples are 6, so you're going to do chains in multiples of 6, plus 4. We're going to chain 46 chains. Here's my slip knot. And I do recommend that you chain these beginning chains a little bit loose. That way the end of our washcloth won't be a little puckered up. All right. Now, if you have trouble keeping track of the number of chains that you have chained, you can always mark them with stitch markers. Sometimes I'll mark them every 10 stitches and sometimes 20, depending on the length of chains that I'm chaining. So here I've chained 10. I'll take one of my stitch markers and I'll mark that 10th stitch. And then I know I won't have to recount that again if I lose count of my stitches. I've stitched my 46 chains, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then six more. So I'm going to go ahead and take out those stitch markers. And you don't have to use stitch markers. It's just, for me, an easy way to keep track of how many chains that I've made without having to keep recounting them. All right, let's begin. We're going to place a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops, yarn over, and go through the second two loops. Our chain three here counts as one double crochet, and then we stitched a double crochet. We're going to skip the next two chains and stitch a single crochet in the next stitch, or the next chain, which a chain is a stitch. Now we're going to skip the next two chains and stitch three double crochets. And the three double crochets is our shell stitch. So one, two, and three. 
Now we're going to skip the next two stitches and stitch a single crochet. Go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through both loops. We'll skip the next two chains, one, two, and stitch three double crochets in the next for our shell stitch. Alright, and we'll repeat this across the row. Skip two, single crochet in the next. Skip two, and shell stitch in the next. And again, our shell stitch is three double crochets. And repeat. Skip two, single crochet in the next. Skip two, shell stitch in the next. One, two, and three. Skip two, single crochet, skip two, double crochet, or three double crochets in the nest next for our shell stitch. And then we'll skip two, double crochet, or three double crochets in the nest next for our shell stitch. All right, we're going to skip two, single crochet in the next, and then that leaves us three chains. So we're going to skip two and we're only going to place two double crochets in that last stitch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and chain one, and then we'll take a look at it. We started with two double crochets because we began in the fourth chain from the hook, and our chain three counted as our first, so we have then a single shell, single shell, single shell, all the way across, and you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six complete shells, and you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets, and then we ended with two double crochets for row one. We did our chain one, so we're going to turn our work, and we're going to place a single crochet in that first double crochet. Our chain one here does not count as a stitch, it's just a turning chain, and then we single crocheted in the first double crochet. So what we're going to do for row two is we're going to place our shell stitches in the single crochets, and then we'll single crochet in the center double crochet of our shell stitches. All right, so here's our single, so we're going to stitch three double crochets or a shell stitch in that single crochet. So one, two, and three. All right, now this brings us to our first shell stitch. We're going to single crochet in the center double crochet of that shell stitch. There's three, so it's the second one. Now we're going to place a shell stitch in the single crochet. There we go. Then we'll place a single crochet in the center double crochet of the next shell stitch. And I think you can see the pattern now. We're going to Place a shell stitch in the next single, and again, our shell stitch is three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then we'll place a single 
in the center stitch of the next shell. And we'll repeat this across. Shell stitch in the single. And single in the center double crochet of the next shell stitch. And single in the center of the shell, the center double crochet, and shell stitch in the next single crochet. Brings us to our last shell, so we'll single, then we have one more single crochet to stitch a shell stitch in, one, two, and three double crochets is our shell stitch, and then we'll single crochet in the last double crochet. And on this one, we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. All right, let's take a quick look at it. <clears throat> we began with the single crochet, we stitched a shell stitch in the next single crochet, then we stitched a single crochet in the center stitch of the next shell stitch, and then we repeated that across. All right, so you'll have single, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single stitches, and then you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shell stitches for row two. All right, let's do row three. We've already made our chain three, and that chain three counts as one double crochet. We're going to stitch a second double crochet right in that first stitch. Now we're going to stitch a single crochet in the center of our first shell. Then we'll stitch our shell stitch in the next single crochet. And again, that shell stitch is three double crochets. And then we'll do our repeat of a single crochet in the center of our shell and a shell stitch in the single crochet. And we'll repeat this across. single in the center of our shell stitch, and a shell stitch in the single crochet. And we'll continue to repeat this across. I repeated the shell stitches and the single crochets across. Here's our last shell stitch and single crochet, and that brings us to our single crochet stitch on the end. And so we're going to stitch two double crochets in that last stitch, which is a single crochet. And chain one. All right, now, so we have two double crochets, to begin with because our chain three counted as a double crochet and then we did single shell single shell single shell and you'll notice as they lay out that they're staggered and that's what gives this washcloth a nice tight texture and also looks really pretty all right so then we ended with two double crochets in that last stitch chain one and now we're going to turn and what we're going to do for row four is the same thing we did on row two. We'll stitch a single crochet in the first stitch. And that brings us to our next single crochet right here. And so we'll stitch a shell stitch in that first single crochet. So what we're doing on row four is repeating what we did on row two. 
That brings us to our next shell stitch. So we'll stitch a single crochet in the second or middle double crochet of that shell stitch. And then we'll just continue across stitching shell stitches in the single crochets. And a single crochet in the center double crochet of the next shell stitch. And again, we'll just repeat this across. Shell stitch in the single crochets and a single crochet in the center stitch of our shell stitch. And we'll continue to repeat this across. I've completed row four, stitching my shells and my single crochets and my single crochets in the center of my shell stitch. Brings me to the end of our row and I'm going to place a single crochet in that last stitch. Now, I'm going to be changing colors here because I'm changing colors every four rows and the pattern is written to change colors every four rows. Now, you don't have to do that. You can change it whenever you want to. You can change it every row if you want to. But I want to show you how I do that. I'm bringing in my next color, which I'm using this bright white. And because I'm going to just be switching back from the green and white, I'm not going to tie off. Now, when this one was done, we tied off every color because we had so many different colors and then weave those ends in. So it's up to you how you want to do that. And like I always say, you do what works best for you. All right, so I'm going to bring in my white and I'm going to chain three. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn. And if this green is, or whatever color you did for your first row, four rows is in your way, you can go ahead and cut it, tie it off, and weave it in. So what we're going to do for the next four rows is we're going to repeat row three and row four two more times so that you have four rows of our shell stitches alternating. So repeat row three and row four two more times, or a total of four more rows. I've completed the four rows that were two repeats of row three and row four. Repeat, 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 repeat. And you can see with the white against the green how your stitches look just a little bit more clearly and that will help you out a little bit there. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat these four rows three more times. We're going to switch back to the green and do four rows of the green. Then we'll switch back to the white and do four rows of the white, and then we'll end with four more rows of the green, and that's gonna get you up through row 20. All right, so we did four green rows, we did four white rows. Then we'll do four green, four white, and four more green. Or whatever colors that you're using, you need to be up through row 20. So this is how your washcloth should look at your 20th row. Now, like I said, I striped mine every four rows. You don't have to. You can do every two rows, every three rows, or do it all one color. All right, but when you get to the end, you should have 20 rows. What I did is I went ahead and I cut off my second color and went ahead and weaved that in. And so I just finished with my green and I'm going to use this color for my trim. The last thing we need to do on our washcloth is add a trim. All right, so we're going to go ahead and chain one and turn. And we're going to begin first by stitching across the top of our washcloth. We're going to place one single crochet in each of those three double crochets. Then we'll stitch a single crochet in the single crochet. And this is the way that we will work across the top. One single crochet in each of the double crochets. 
and then one single crochet in that single crochet and we'll just work across the top for a nice even edge. Once you've single crocheted across the top of your washcloth, that brings us to our corner and we're going to place two single crochets in that corner and that's just going to help it move around smoothly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to evenly single crochet down the edge. And that just means we're going to try to evenly place single crochets down the side of our washcloth so it looks nice and neat. The key to getting it nice and neat is to try to stitch in the stitches of the sides of the stitches and not the holes if at all possible. Now there might be a time where you need to put it in a hole to make sure your stitches are nice and close. You're just going to have to eyeball it, make sure you don't put them too close or too far apart. All right. So I'm going to go in a hole right there because I need to put one right there. Now I'm going to put my next stitch in the side of that stitch. I can do that here as well. You just get a much neater appearance if you can stitch in the sides of those stitches and not in the holes. All right, so I'm going to continue to work down the side of my washcloth till I get to this corner. I have evenly single crocheted down the side of my washcloth. That brings me to my corner and I'm going to go ahead and place a second single crochet in that corner again so it moves around smoothly. And this brings us to the bottom of our washcloth. And so now we can just place a single crochet in each of those chains across and that'll make a nice smooth edge on the edge of our washcloth. So we have stitches we can stitch in on the bottom. All right, so I'm just gonna stitch across the bottom, stitching in those chains. I've stitched evenly single crochets across the bottom of my washcloth and all I have left is this last side and you can see this is the side that I did my yarn carryovers or my yarn tails and so I need to make sure when I stitch my single crochets that I stitch over those tails. Alright so here I'm in the corner I'm going to go ahead and stitch that second single crochet in that corner and then I'm just going to work my way up stitching evenly trying to stitch again in the stitches and not the holes. So I'm up on this edge where I've got these tails of yarn and what we do is we just make sure that we stitch over them. Like I'll go in the side of the stitch here, I'll grab my tail of yarn and go around where I trailed it up. And that's just going to make it so it stays put and isn't seen. Now it might peek through a little bit, but not too much. See how nice and neat that looks? Alright, so now we'll do this one where I carried it across the white. And again, carrying your yarn is something that's totally up to you on this particular project, depending on how wide you made your stripes and if you changed colors a bunch. So that's just something that's up to you. And as I always say, you do what works best for you. All right, so now I'm almost done. I'm working my way up to this first single crochet where we started. Get a few more single crochets up to there. All right, I'm in this corner. I'm going to put a second single crochet in that corner. I'm going to join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch. Cut my yarn. I'm going to go in from behind to the next stitch and pull that loop, get on there, <laughs> to the back and tie off to the back. There we go. And now I can weave that in and it will look nice and neat. So here's our completed sage green and white washcloth 
We also have our rainbow washcloth right here. So you can see how the stripes look different and also the variegated with the white and the pink variegated. So it's up to you how you want to stripe it. The colors that you want to use are what you're going to do with it and you can do lots of different styles.